Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell, and in today's episode of Product of the Week, we will be taking a look at, thank you, Richard, the Blue Scoop, a mahoosive supercapacitor that can keep your IoT devices powered on even when the power goes out. Oh, guys, I thought we paid the electric bill this time. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope, it's a lithium ion supercapacitor that is able to store ungodly amounts of charge and provide this charge as a stable power source for an extremely long amount of time. Developed by Blues for their note cards, the idea behind this is that should an IoT device suffer a power outage due to unpaid bills, Richard, this supercapacitor can keep vital systems running for an extended period of time. Well, not only is this little guy fantastic because we got the scoop on this, but it's awesome because it provides a project with a reliable backup power supply without having to rely on the nasties of lithium ion batteries. You know, how they like to catch fire. Additionally, this supercapacitor, which technically is a hybrid, can operate at wider temperature ranges than standard lithium polymer batteries, meaning that it can be used in more applications. So, what features does this board offer? Well, to start, this super duper uber capacitor has a capacitance of 250 farads, which, now I say it out loud, is absolutely ridiculous. I'm kind of tempted to now charge this thing and see what happens when I short it. Oh, actually, on that topic, this board has some extra circuitry, so you can't just do that. Clearly, this board was designed by a genius who knew exactly what I would do. The input charging voltage to the scoop is anywhere between 4.8 volts and 24 volts, which means you have plenty of charging options. Looking at the board, I also suspect that it has a small DC-DC converter, so that's going to be very handy in numerous applications. At the same time, the output voltage range of the scoop is between 2.5 volts and 3.8 volts, which is more than sufficient for most DC-DC power converters or even directly powering a 5 volt device as they can usually go down to 2 volts. Connecting to this board is done via the two PH2 POS connectors, which are commonly found on Adafruit products, meaning that you will have a nice tight connection that won't move around. The scoop also has four pairs of through hole mounted male header pins, so you can secure this thing directly to a PCB without using a cable. And finally, the scoop measures just 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters, which is far smaller than a typical lithium ion battery setup when taking into account that this thing can be directly soldered and doesn't need an extra charging circuit with current monitoring and load balancing. But the most important question is how much energy can this thing store? Well, according to Blues, the scoop can provide enough power to make 20 new cellular connections or up to 200 sinks between the note card and the note hub. And that's not a theoretical figure that they just kind of pulled out of thin air. That was an actual test that they did. When it comes to projects, the Scoop is going to be an extremely good companion for low energy IoT devices that need to have a high degree of reliability. For example, a medical sensor that is used to monitor patients would most likely need a backup power supply, and this thing could be a perfect solution, as it not only provides enough power to keep an IoT device running, but it also has improved safety. The extended operating temperature range of this supercapacitor also makes it highly applicable in high temperature environments, such as deserts. So next time you run out of gasoline and looking to ride on top of a modified car with spiky bits on the end, this power source could be vital in making your flamethrower guitar work. The Scoop is a really cool device that provides you with enough energy to keep things working when the power goes out. And the fact that it comes with all the charging circuitry needed not only reduces the complexity of your design, but also provides a layer of safety because let's face it, if you try to design a charging circuit for a 250 farad supercapacitor, you'll definitely be seeing that magic smoke once or twice. I certainly know, and I have. 
Anyway, if you desire to get your grubby little hands on one of these and want to support this channel, then head over to the link in the bio where you can grab one of these and then head over to Electromaker where you can get all the things you could possibly ever need for your next project. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Witness me.